Hey YouTube, it's Marquita. Um, I'm here to bring you guys an update on my hair loss and I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to post this video or not, but I wanted to at least record it and if I have the strength to post it, then I would post it. So um, I want to give you guys an update on my alopecia and my hair loss. So for those of you who may not be familiar with what I'm referencing, um, probably about the beginning of, I guess the beginning of October, I started noticing some hair loss. Um, it started as a bald spot on the um, right side of my head. And I got a little freaked out about it, so I went to my um, primary care physician, and then I went to a dermatologist after that. And um, after I went to my dermatologist, I was diagnosed with telogen effluvium, which is basically hair loss after either like a really stressful event. Sometimes it happens after childbirth or um, after surgery. Uh, I was also diagnosed with alopecia areata, which is a form of alopecia where there's big bald spots where there are where there's no hair and it just kind of happens really rapidly. Um, I was diagnosed with those two things because my um, dermatologist didn't want to make a very definite diagnosis because both of those things are pretty, you know. It can be pretty serious, especially in someone with locks. Um, so it's been a little over six weeks since I had my first set of injections. Um, I had my first set of injections at the end of October. And so um, basically things aren't getting any better with my hair. They're actually getting progressively worse. Um, and I could probably show you guys better than I can tell you, which is one of the reasons why I'm not sure if I'm going to actually even post this video or just have it to document my journey for myself, but, um, I'll show you guys. Um, so, you know, for those of you who actually saw the videos, you'll remember that, um, the hair loss is on this side in one spot and there was just a little bit of thinning on this side. So I'll show you guys and I'll actually adjust my light so that you guys can see it. A little bit better so actually turn the light so as you can see the whole front of my head all my locks have lifted is what the official term is all the way across the front they none of these have hair underneath them um you'll see where the follicle like where the hair used to be like right there um and this goes all the way you know pretty much backwards um i can't show the back of my head but it's happening around the edges in the back and there are some spots in the middle So, where do I go from here? Um, it's a very difficult question to answer. Um, I was talking to Miss Mika about this um, because it's something that she deals with as well. And um, we basically were just talking about how um, I don't even think that it's an African-American thing. I think that it's a woman thing. It's a man thing as well. I guess it's a human being thing that your hair is your glory. And people say it's just hair. It'll grow back. But when you have alopecia, there's no guarantee that it's going to grow back. Um, I feel like this is headed towards alopecia totalis, which is just like 
all of it falling out. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that's not what it is, but it's rapidly progressing and no signs of stopping. The Jamaican black castor oil isn't helping. Um, supplements isn't helping. Taking prenatal vitamins isn't helping. At this point, nothing is helping. Um, I'm definitely afraid to wash or groom my hair and um, my beautician told me that it's best to just wash it and see what falls out. And I don't want to walk around with a half head of locks. So I guess um, the next step is for me to go to my dermatologist and we are going to see if it's getting worse and if it is getting worse I'm probably just going to cut them all off sorry I hate getting emotional on YouTube um, when I cut my hair off to like cut off all of the the relaxer like I was so proud of my my like essentially bald head. I have like literally this much new growth because I wanted it all gone. I felt like my hair needed to go. I needed a change in life and I wanted to be free. And my goal was to have this huge Angela Davis fro. And I got that Angela Davis fro. I locked up my hair. My goal was to have locks down my back. And in just a year's time, this is how long my locks are. Like unheard of. Um, so to have to cut them off. I just can't even put it into words. I'm so upset. And every time somebody compliments me on my locks, I just get upset all over again. Um, my wife wants to cut off her locks in solidarity and I refuse to let her do so. Um, for number one, her locks are gorgeous and I love her locks. There's nothing like when she comes out of that beauty salon or when I get finished with her locks and you know her locks are way down and you know, way down here so when I see her with her locks I'm just like mm, that is my wife um so for her to cut hers off no like that's so not necessary um I will probably be wearing wigs and weaves because I'm not proud of my bald head when it happens not looking forward to it in time I will learn to love it because it's part of me but as of right now I'm really upset about it um, so after my dermatologist appointment next Wednesday today is the 29th I'm recording this um, at like 1230 in the morning um, after the dermatologist appointment, then we'll make the decision. I don't think that I'm going to go to a shop. If I have to cut it all off, I'm going to let my wife cut it all off. Um, consequently, I'm also going to be doing some testing. I'm just going to ask my doctors for some general testing. I was tested for um, thyroid issues, iron issues, because that can make your hair fall out. But I've also, as of late, been having um, constant headaches and um, being really nauseous. And clearly I'm not pregnant or trying to get pregnant. And I want to make sure that there's nothing else underlying. I know that when your hair starts falling out, it's already an autoimmune issue because your um, body is attacking your, your hair follicles. But I just want to make sure that there's nothing else going on. So... I just want to make this video because I don't want people asking me. I already have to explain it in my personal life. Like when I go to wearing wigs and stuff like for people to be like, oh my God, why did you cut off your locks? And like, I just wanted to make this video because I don't want to hear it from my friends on YouTube either. I just want everyone to know and it be out in the open. So with that being said, in the next couple of weeks, you may be seeing a very new, different mom and mommy channel. Um, appearance wise for me um I'm depressed about it but I'm not gonna let this keep me down it's just hair I'll have to keep repeating that to myself until I believe it because I'm devastated honestly so thank you guys 
for all of your support and for listening and I guess if you're watching this then I decided to gather up the courage to post this and who knows maybe I can be an inspiration to someone else who is going through something similar so thanks so much for listening bye So today is Friday, December the 7th. It's like early in the morning again. Um, and I just wanted to do an update about what the situation is with my dermatologist appointment from Wednesday. I had to get a biopsy done of my scalp. Um, um, we got to the appointment and he said, oh, well, okay, so what's the progress going on with your hair? And he said, you know, the last time that I saw you, you know, we had the one spot in the temple and then a little, a little bit of thinning and then I pulled back my hair. And as you guys saw, it's pretty awful. So um, I think I even heard him like give a little like when I pull back my hair because I guess the way that I pull it all forward you can't really tell like how bad it really is so I think that he was like honestly shocked that it was that bad um so he put on his little I don't know it reminds me of Wayne from Honey I Shrunk the Kids and he puts the little magnifying glass anyway tangent um the dermatologist put that on and he's able to obviously like look magnified at your scalp more than we're able to with the naked eye and he basically explained that there's no new hair growth those places where I got like those 18 injections no hair is growing there um, and then I showed him so I've started to even since Wednesday there's some locks that are just like hanging on by a thread like this one is hanging on by a thread um, so I basically just asked him, I said, should I cut them off? And he said, you know, it's really my decision if I want to cut them off or not. Um, but because the back is doing the same thing and it's kind of like traveling up and this is traveling back, eventually they will meet in the middle and either I will have like a hairline that starts back here and no hair back here and like just hair in the middle or it may continue so um, he said it's really up to me but honestly I could read between the lines and it's like either you cut it or it's gonna just fall out and I would rather not have my locks just falling out in public so I've come to the decision that this will probably be my last day with hair so crazy to say and I don't want to get emotional I already got emotional in the last video but um, this will probably be my last weekend. Riley has pictures with Santa tomorrow. And so I think as a family, we're going to do pictures with Santa. And then that's it because I have to go back. So I had to get a biopsy done of my scalp. And um, basically, I guess he took like a little chunk out of my scalp to analyze the hair follicles in the cells to try to figure out what kind of alopecia I have and whether it's going to come back, whether it's scarring alopecia, um, to figure out what's going on with that. And then, so I have two sets of sutures in my head and I have to get my sutures taken out in 10 days. So what the plan is that I'm going to cut off on my hair and then we're going to do injections in all the spots that don't have any hair growth. So it's potentially really long appointment with a lot of injections um, and it's just easier for him to be able to see everything with there being no hair there. Um, so that's the plan. Um, I guess I'm going to probably do this in like a part one and part two video and depending on how strong I feel about it, I may or may not record the um, the hair cutting process. I'm not going to go to a shop. I'm going to let my wife cut my hair. Um, it's embarrassing enough to have alopecia. Um, I don't want to go to, into a shop and definitely the natural hair care shop that I go into. I don't want to feel judged. Um, and those, the women that are in there, some of them are really petty and really judgmental. And I don't want people talking about me behind my back. Like really I could give a flying flip, but my hair is something that I'm really vulnerable about and I don't want people talking about my hair. And unfortunately that's 
what they're like in that shop. So, um, I digress. Um, so that's where I'm at. The hair has to go. And it has to go before the 17th. And I'm not going to continue to try to push it off to the last minute. Especially when I have so many locks that are just hanging on for dear life. We're just going to schedule a day or a time. And then we're just going to cut it off. So that's where I'm at. Yeah. There's really nothing else that I could think to say. Yeah. So, I guess for now, to be continued.